All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be checking out the details for the upcoming Dokkan Festival exclusive, AGL Captain Ginyu slash Ginyu Goku, along with his two side units, the Int, Jace, and Murder, and also the uh, SDR, Raccoon, and Guldo. Now, honestly, I was not expecting two side units, but I guess it kind of makes sense since they want to feature all five members of the Guinea Force. Although they could have just done a card with like four members, right? Like Birder, Jace, Raccoon, and Goldo in one card as opposed to two separate cards, but this is fine. I'm completely okay with this. Three units is better than two. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's just jump right into it. Now, before we talk about what any of these guys do, we need to start with the animations. So here we go. Let me just go to the beginning. I'm gonna pause my music and enjoy guys. その Alright, um, first thing I'll say, first thing I'll say is, poor Gohan, man, those punches were brutal, um, the effect at the end there, yo, the, the flashes was, like, really crazy, one sec, let me, let me go back here. <laughs> yeah, that was a really crazy effect, um, overall, clean animations, they look very good, I'm really glad that... The Guinea Force is getting the respect, the love they deserve. They have always been some of my favorite characters in the entire franchise. Um, I have a lot of love for the Guinea Force, so this is great. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think they're like the most hype animations or like the best animations I've ever seen by a long shot, but they do look really, really good. Okay, I'm not going to go overboard and be like, oh my god, I can't believe these are you know, like top three animations in the game or anything like that. They're not, at least not to me, at least not to me, but they're crazy clean. They're definitely on the level of other Dokkan Festival, you know, characters we've seen in the recent past. So I got no complaints, man. I got no complaints. So there you have it. We have the Ginyu with the body change into Ginyu Goku. And now... We're going to take a look at what these guys actually do. Now, of course, these translations were provided by the homie Goresh on Twitter. So a massive shout out and thank you to Goresh for doing this for us. And I'm going to just quickly disappear so that you guys don't uh, miss any of the text. Now, let me actually just turn the music back on. There we go. Okay, so let's start here with the Ginyu Goku and then we'll talk about the you know, Burner and Jace and Rakuma Goldo as well. So we got Captain Ginyu, the Captain's Trump card. Leader skill is Terrifying Conquerors or Planet Namek Saga. E plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 170%. So no new category this time, just uh, Terrifying Conquerors and Planet Namek Saga, which makes sense. But also 
grants an additional HP, attack, and defense, plus 30% for characters who are also in the Space Traveling Warriors category. So, just like the 4th anniversary um, Dual Dokkan Festival Lars, this guy is potentially a 200% leader for units that are in Space Traveling Warriors and also in Terrifying Conquerors or Planet Namek Saga, which is, you know, pretty crazy. And uh, Super Attack raises defense and causes uh, immense damage, so he's a defensive stacker. And his passive is attack and defense plus 180%. At the start of the turn, it gains an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. Performs an additional attack that has a medium chance, a 30% chance, to become a super attack. Gain an additional attack and defense plus 10% for each Ginyu Force category ally on the team. Max of attack and defense plus 50%. Ginyu Force category allies, attack and defense plus 30% and attacks effective against all types if there is another Gini Force category ally on the team other than this character. His links are Frieza's army, gentleman, respect, Gini Force loyalty, signature, signature pose, and uh, fierce battle. And categories are Terrifying Conquerors, Planet Namek Saga, Space Traveling Warriors, Gini Force, Dragon Ball Seeker, Special Pose, and Corroded Body and Mind. Okay, so before we get to the uh, Gini Goku side, uh, these links are rough. These links are definitely rough, but it's what you expect from a Captain Ginyu. He will link well with other members of the Ginyu Force, but otherwise, um, it's going to be hard to find a good linking partner for him, right? So, um, that's a bit of an issue. And as far as the passive goes, like before the body change or the body swap, um, he is really, really good on a Ginyu Force team. He is really, really good with a full Ginyu Force team, but... At the same time, he's not going to be bad if you're running a different team as long as you include one other Ginyu Force member on the team, right? You don't need to have a full Ginyu Force team to get the attacks effective against all. You just need one other member, so that's pretty good. And um, he will be missing this additional 50% attack and defense, but otherwise he's still going to be getting some pretty huge attack numbers in my opinion. Of course, I haven't seen the calculations, I haven't seen the uh, gameplay for him at all, so I can't say for sure, but he seems to me like he will be hitting very hard even without a full Ginyu Force team, but with a you know, full Ginyu Force team, it will be that much better, right? And uh, yeah, let's move on to the active skill here, which is body change, um, can be used once 4 turns have elapsed and, 70, and HP is 70% or below. Once only, ability changes bodies and the uh, super attack becomes raises attack and causes immense damage. So instead of stacking defense now, he's stacking attack. And then passive is recovers 59% HP, once only, makes sense. And attack and defense plus 200%. At the start of the turn, it gains an additional attack plus 50%. When performing a super attack, performs an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, it gains an additional attack, defense, critical hit chance, and dodge chance plus 10%. Per attack performed, max of attack, defense, crit chance, and dodge chance of 50%, and high chance to reveal the location of enemy super attacks when there is a character whose name includes Jace on the team. Okay, so considering he gets two guaranteed attacks per turn, possibly a third with hidden potential investment, um, getting his max uh, passive here is not going to be that hard. And he's getting, yeah, 50% more attack, 50% more defense. Well, what's more even crazy, or what's even more crazy, is 50% crit chance and 50% dodge chance when fully stacked. The only thing I don't like about this passive is this last part here. I love the ability to see enemy super attacks. I don't love that it's a high chance as opposed to guaranteed. Okay, he would have been great. I mean, he's still great. He's still amazing. Don't get me wrong. But he would have been that much greater if he had just guarantee, you know, reveal location of enemy super attacks, because now you're going to be guessing a lot, right? You're going to be guessing a lot, and that kind of sucks. So, um, yeah, I wish it was not, you know, RNG-based, the last part, because sometimes, like, you know, you have Ginyu on rotation, you have Jace on the team, and you're like, oh, you know, no super attacks, but maybe the chance just didn't proc, and then you get hit by a super and you die. Although this guy will be very tanky, so maybe... It's not that much of an issue. Like by the time you pop the, you know, body change or the body swap, 
um, he should have stacked up enough defense to where you don't have to worry about it too much. But you know what I mean, right? Like it would be nice to see super attack all, all the time. But I am nitpicking. <laughs> I recognize that I am nitpicking. Um, he's a great unit, man. He's a great unit. I mean, the leader skill is insane. Two hundred percent HP attack and defense for certain units. Um, and then you know a ton of attack and defense. Uh, the support is nice for getting you force teams. Uh, attack effective against all types is also really good. And then when you do the body exchange, or the, I, I keep calling it different things. When you do the body change, he will be getting even more attack and defense. He's going to be hitting even harder. Uh, the 50% crit chance, dodge chance is crazy. And then ability to see super attacks is also really, really good. Just better been guaranteed, you know? And uh, the condition, the condition for the body change is not bad either. I mean, four turns, 70% HP or below, pretty easy to to satisfy, right? And a lot of times you probably don't even want to perform this until way later into the event for longer events because you want to be stacking defense. And then after that, you'll be stacking attack and he'll be just a monster offensively. So that is the Captain Ginyu. He looks very good to me. Um, I can see some arguments about like him maybe not being as good, of course, on non-Ginyu Force teams. But he will still be holding his own, you know, on non Ginyu Force teams, especially after the body swap, right? After the body swap, he doesn't really require any Ginyu Force members unless you are, you know, unless you want to get like this uh, ability to see enemy super attacks. So you want to include a Jason on the team. But otherwise, if you don't care about that, then yeah, he's fine without any Ginyu Force members on the team. So that is the Captain Ginyu. Moving on to the Raccoon and Guldo. Uh, leader skill is Planet Dynamic Saga, Q plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. Uh, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 180% at the start of the turn. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 10% for each attack received, up to 50%. High chance to guard all attacks, gains an additional defense plus 50%. When guard is activated during the turn, seals attack enemy super attack, guard activated against all attacks, and high chance to stun the attacked enemy when there is a uh, character whose name includes Ginyu attacking in the same turn. Links are Frieza's minion, Frieza's army, uh, Ginyu force burial beatdown, signature, signature pose, loyalty, and fierce battle. And categories are Planet Dynamic Saga, Ginyu force, Dragon Ball Seekers, Joint Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, Special Pose, and Time Traveling or sorry, space traveling warriors. Um, these guys are gonna be amazing tanks, man. They're gonna be amazing tanks. High chance to guard, not my favorite, but guaranteed guard if you have Ginyu on the team. And it's not just a Captain Ginyu, you can have like a Ginyu Goku or the LR Ginyu Goku. Um, as long as there's Ginyu in the name, then you're good to go. So guaranteed guard, high chance to stun, um, guaranteed seal, right, guaranteed seal. When you attack an enemy, uh, yeah, they work really well with a Ginyu Force team. You know, I think these guys are already meant to work with each other and be run on the same team. And, yo, the Ginyu Force team is going to be so fun, man. I can see it right now. The Ginyu Force team is going to be so much fun to use. So, that's Raccoon and Gul, though. And finally, we have the Jace and Birder. Leader skill is Space Traveling Warriors, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack. Uh, Raise is attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme, supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 150%. Um, at the start of turn, medium chance to perform an additional super attack. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 10%. Per attack performed, high chance to evade enemy attacks. And then space traveling warriors, uh, category allies, key plus 3. And attack and defense plus 30%. All allies attack and defense plus 30%. If there is an ally attacking on the same turn, whose name includes Ginyu. Oh my god, okay, so basically they're providing key plus 3 attack and defense plus 60% if Ginyu is on the rotation. Holy balls, that is, that is an insane support, man. Okay, uh, Lynx, Freeze's army, Freeze's minion, Ginyu force, tag team of terror, signature pose, loyalty, and fierce battle, and categories... Planet Dynamic Saga, Ginyu Force, Dragon Ball Seekers, Joint Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, Special Pose, and Space Traveling Warriors. So, uh, that's it guys. That's the Jason Birder. We got the Raccoon and Guldo, and of course, the Captain Ginyu. Let me know in the comments 
which one you guys think is the best. Obviously, it's Ginyu, but maybe maybe between these two. Between Chase and Birder and Rakumago, though, which one do you think is, is better? Um, one, to me, seems like it's more geared towards defense, although they do have, you know, good offensive potential. And this one is a little bit more offensive, but also really, really good for support. So, basically, it's not like offense or defense. It's like they're both good at both, and then they're also really good in other aspects. So, there you have it, guys. That is... The upcoming uh, trio of Ginyu Force units covering all five members of the Ginyu Force. Once again, I'm really glad these guys are getting the love that I feel like they've deserved for a long time. Um, <laughs> I'm honestly pretty hyped, man. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked for 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 this Dokkan Fest. Now it might not sound like it through my voice because I'm just a mess today, man. Like my voice is really my my throat is like really messed up. Um, I did do a test. I did do a test and it came back negative for, you know, um, so don't worry about that. Okay, we're good to go on that front. I think it's strep, but I have to see. Uh, I'll probably go see the the doctor tomorrow or, or as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, guys. No confess in you. Birder and Jace. Guldo and Raccoon. Coming soon. Oh, let me just come back at the end here. Yeah, um, shout out to... Uh, Goresh for the translations. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, my brain stopped working. <laughs> what else is there to say? I don't know. Enjoy these animations. They look very clean. And uh, yeah, as always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.